Well, I just really hate to see Lumpy like this. And uh, we're gonna have to make some decisions pretty soon, unfortunately. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Turners Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Got a little bit of a raspy voice, trying to get over this cold. I wanted to come show you guys somebody. Some of you have been asking about him, but I just wanted to show you, let y'all know how he's doing. It's our boy, Lumpy. Lumpy's out here. So he's in here uh, with some more bulls that uh, we have on a self feeder. Uh, they have a self feeder right here. They got a little bit of grazing to do and we give them some hay, so. So guys, what I want to talk to you about today, this is Eleanor's little bull. He's, he's looking good. Hair is coming in, he's filling out a little bit more, but really what I want to talk to you about today, guys, is Lumpy. Lumpy's, uh, let's just say he's doing okay. His hair came in, his winter coat started coming in. He, he's gained some weight, but what you can see right there, he's uh, he's got a limp. And um, I'm not sure exactly, but uh, it's, uh, it's on his front, uh, like what we would call our knee. Um, don't know the technical term for that but it's his front left knee area of his joint there and um, I, he's been he, he limped on it lightly uh, about a month ago I noticed but it's getting worse and worse uh, when you're dealing with problems like this it's uh, it's not good it's not good for animals like this because this is not something that you uh, you can see him limping pretty good right there I definitely don't like to see him like this. Um, now, this probably could have been from a uh, just an injury with these bison, uh, with these with these bulls. It could have just been an injury from them. Mayo, what are you doing? Trying to pick a fight with a bull? I don't think they like you. Lumpy's coming over here to hang out with some bulls. He's trying to get away from me. It's really not easy dealing with these type of animals that have that sustain an injury like that. He probably got it from these other bulls just because he's down at the bottom of the pecking order. Uh, I know that's kind of difficult to swallow. And uh, a lot of you will say, well, Dusty, just pin him up by himself and put him, put him somewhere where he can, uh, you know, not have to deal with other bison well you can't do that with bison bison are different critters they're different animals if you put a bison by themselves their socialness just goes crazy they're very social animals and they have to be together um, even if it's just two animals in the same pen that's okay but when you put them by themselves, it's a different story. And for if you do it for a long period of time, uh, emotionally, socially, um, it's not gonna do very good for him. The other thing, the other problem is because he's had this injury and it's not getting any better, we've already been to the vet to get him checked out for his hernia. And uh, we, we, we know that information. If you, if you weren't following when we did um, take Lumpy to Oklahoma State. It is his stomach. You guys can go back and watch the video. I took Lumpy to Oklahoma State to get an ultrasound on his hernia to see if there's anything that we could do. Unfortunately, the result is it could be a very expensive surgery, uh, but even then it may not save him. The hernia has gotten bigger, but his what it is is his stomach. Uh, see, bison are like cattle. They're ruminants. They've got four chambers, four stomachs. One of his stomachs has protruded out of that muscle tissue that surrounds the organs that surrounds the, obviously when he eats and food is digested, it goes through one of those stomachs, which is the one that is um, sticking out. So uh, very unfortunate uh, that that happened to him. We rescued him, brought him back here and he's, gained weight he's looks he's bigger than what he was when he got here he's uh, his hairs came through uh, he poops and he pees and he drinks water and he eats like a normal bison 
He just has that hernia. And uh, obviously it's uncomfortable, I'm sure, for him. But now he's walking with a limp. So it's unfortunately time to get real serious about what we're gonna do with Lumpy. And uh, I just really want your comments uh, and your thoughts on what you guys think we should do with Lumpy. I, I have a couple of ideas, but I wanna share what's going on with Lumpy. And uh, that's not that I've been hiding this from you. Um, I've just been busy doing some other stuff, but um, Lumpy, uh, I just wanted to give you an update on him and kind of where he's at right now. Okay, so we'll come back and talk a little bit more about Lumpy, but what I'm gonna do right now is uh, uh, I've got this tire water up here and I've been wanting to split it up so that we could use it in two different lots instead of just one lot. So um, I'm gonna show you guys kind of what we do with our tire waters and if splitting them between fences, uh, between two pastures, basically you got one tire that you can split. And so I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna set up um, this panel over one of these tire waters so we can get two uses out of it. I'm gonna come back and we'll talk about Lumpy. Okay, so I've got this tire water here. This is one of the very, this is the very first one I installed. You can go back and watch how I installed this. Um, it got quite a few views, but you can go back and see this. And it's the first one I got water in and everything. Um, it's beautiful right now. Water's clear. Getting you some smells, Maya. So what I wanna do is when I have animals come down our lane, is right here this is our lane um, we got animals in here this is our original corral we've been watering with the hose right here and we want to try to reduce as much using of a hose as possible we're trying to streamline things and where basically you just come out here and check in it makes life a lot easier especially when it's hot or in the winter time so here's one of our tire waters here got these four yearling heifers in here and I want to take this panel because of the width here of this original um, old this original old corral. We left that here so we could split this. I'm going to take this panel and put it right across here and divide this up basically and uh, see how it goes. Had to cut off a little hinge first just so I could get it off. But the idea is to put this thing from this post right over here to the center of this. Contemplated on putting, cutting this off. Not sure if I want to or not. I think I could cut it off because I don't want it to bother my pump. Oh, look at that. Almost oh, butter. So we've got it tied up here temporarily just to see what I'm dealing with here. I cut that middle part out. We've got just a slight gap right here, not terrible. But what I think I'm gonna do is, this thing is right just about perfectly in the center. I'm gonna have to decide what side I wanna go with this closer to because of the my float is right in the middle, but I think I'm just gonna put a T-post here, drive a T-post up next to this, and um, that way it'll brace it. And then here, 
I can't, I have to be very careful. I can't drive a T-post here because this is where my plumbing comes in, is right here. So maybe if I want to put it at an angle, I can put a T-post over on that side and uh, brace this up. What I, had, what I went ahead and did was use our tallest T-post, give us that extra length. I'll tie it up right quick. Okay, got this up here, I got it all hung up, and uh, got it split. What I did was I put it on a little further on this side. I didn't want it messing with the float. So I think it looks pretty good. Ideally for this, you want a pipe on both sides of the tire and driven down, almost like an H brace is basically what you would like to have. I use T-post here, typically, we don't have bulls rubbing nose to nose in this situation. Um, we use this for yearling heifers or for uh, in case we got some sick animals or calves. Uh, we can use this for calves as well. Um, so if you want to go males or, or females in here um, or animals are coming up from the bottom, uh, you've got this dual purpose water tank now. Also, you know, like in the summer, I had problems with yearling, the yearlings. They wanted to get in it. Uh, I've reduced the size of this tire tank instead of the whole tank. I gave them just a uh, about a third of it now. So um, hopefully this works. But uh, in the future, I need to come back and I'll need to actually weld something up. But I got to be careful because the underlying pipe um, from the main water line is right there. So anyways, just, uh, just another little something I wanted to do and uh, less using of the water hose so we don't have to water. The automatic water system is the way to go and it's been so awesome being able to use that. All you gotta do is come and check it, um, clean it. It's been very, very helpful and very essential. Um, so that's a good thing that we did this. We'll see how they test during the winter. This is our uh, first winter with these. So we'll see how it goes. Let's go visit Lumpy again. Well, I just really hate to see Lumpy like this. And uh, we're going to have to make some decisions pretty soon, unfortunately. Uh, but I really want to know what you guys think. And uh, it's, he's got one of these injuries that I don't think it's going to get any better. And this happens. It happens to normal animals all the time. Good animals, bad animals in between. It happens. And uh, he's got two injuries now. Lumpy has turned into Limpy, basically, <laughs> is, is what he's turned into. It's hard to see him like this, so we're going to have to make a decision. And I, want to, I want to know you guys' opinion. I want to know your opinion on this, and uh, maybe that'll help me, give me some direction. Uh, we're going to have to make uh, some big boy decisions, is what I like to say, uh, pretty soon on Lumpy, on what to do with him. Uh, he's not going to be a breeding bull or nothing like that at all. Um, but for sure, and you guys know that the whole time. So I will say this about Lumpy. He has come a long way, and uh, I'm glad he's here. I'm glad we've been able to take care of him. He's, uh, he's gained weight. He's gotten bigger, and I'm happy that we have him. But uh, there comes to a point where you've got to do something about uh, a herd animal, and whether it's a dog or a cat with old age or, or a major um, health issue, um, you always have to make decisions like this. So that's where we're at, guys, and I wanna know your opinion. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't, guys, you can go back and watch my videos of rescuing Lumpy um, and even taking Lumpy to my alma mater, Oklahoma State. A great vet school up there for them to get an ultrasound on him. <clears throat> you can go back and watch those videos and, and kind of get the story of Lumpy if you're just now joined us. So thank you guys for watching.